Hey guys, this is Daniel and Kelly from fitnessblender.com and we have another great workout for you. All you're going to need for this routine is a dumbbell or a kettlebell. We have 10 different exercises that we're going to be doing for 45 seconds a piece. With 15 seconds rest in between each of them, we're going to do them twice before we move on to the next exercise. There's just one round for this and we don't have a warm up or a cool down so you're going to want to do those on your own. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, our first exercise is going to be an alternating kettlebell swing. We're gonna be doing this one arm at a time, and when you come up to the top of that range of motion, you're gonna switch hands. Now Kelly's gonna be showing you the dumbbell version of this. I'm gonna be doing it with a traditional kettlebell. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off the timer here. Got five seconds. And start it up. Remember, make sure you keep that back perfectly flat. This motion is driven from those glutes and from those legs, not from your lower back. So that back stays perfectly flat. That shoulder really doesn't do much of anything. It's just a nice controlled motion, driving it from those legs. Just keep those lungs open, keep those core muscles tight. About 10 seconds left. Almost done, just keep them going. And let it relax. Got one more round of these. We got a 15 second break. Just keep moving around. Keep your core temperature up and make sure you're keeping your heart rate up. You don't want to just like completely relax and stop. Two, one, start it up. Again, check that form. Make sure that back stays nice and flat. Hinging from that hip joint. A little bit of a bend in that knee. Snapping those hips forward to get the momentum into that kettlebell or that dumbbell to get it up to shoulder height. Right at the top of that range of motion where that kettlebell starts to hover is where you want to switch. 10 seconds. Keep those lungs open. Three, two, one, and, and let it relax. relax. Nicely done. That's two rounds of that exercise, so let's move on to the next. Our next exercise is a basic squat with a pulse. So you're gonna go into a squat, hold it there, and pulse at the bottom of that range of motion where it hurts the most, of course. So make sure you're not using jerky motions. Keep everything nice and smooth. You don't wanna be bouncing too hard. Use control in every movement that you do. So two rounds, ready? Right, and we're, if you can do this body weight. If you want to, you can also use extra weight, which I think I'm gonna be trying out. So let's okay. go ahead and get that timer started. Three, two, one, drop down in that squat. I just keep it nice and low. Remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath during this exercise. Just go to your happy place. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Should be burning right now. Whew. Fifteen seconds left. Oh no, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> Ten. Whew. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Ouch. All right, keep those legs moving. Okay, I will not be using weight for the second round. <laughs> That's better than that. <laughs> that burns. Three, two, one. Here we go. You make sure that you feel this in your glutes more than your thighs by keeping your weight more in your heels than in your tippy toes. I immediately regret this decision. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with this exercise? I think that was me. Oh man. If you need to, just seconds. like we're doing, shake those legs out and drop right back into it. Oh. Ouch. Oh my god. <laughs> Ten seconds. Almost done. Stay down. Oh. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. All right, that's two rounds of that. 
we just, we got another exercise coming up. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Our next exercise is gonna be a clean and press. So this, you're starting in a squat motion, you hop it up to that shoulder, and then press it over your head. We're doing one set with one arm, and then the next time around, we're gonna do it with the opposite side. So this is a nice, clean, quick motion, popping it up, pop it up again. So use a fairly decent amount of weight. You wanna actually have to use those legs to get that weight up there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Start up our timer. Two, one, go ahead and start. Go at your own pace. Just try to keep nice, even form. Get a little bit more of a squat in there to get a little extra help. Again, make sure that back stays nice and flat. You don't want to be Bending forward or arching back. Five seconds. All right, All right we're going to switch Remember, keep those feet moving in between those breaks. Three, two, one. Here we go. Again, watch that form. Your body's gonna have to, or it's gonna try to get every single muscle group working in on this, especially if you're using a heavy weight. But make sure you keep your form nice and clean. Keep it under control. Keep that back flat. Using those legs, it's the only extra cheat you get to do this motion. Five seconds. Two, one, there we go. Okay, this one's going to be painful. We have 45 seconds on each leg of a lunge pulse. So just that basic lunge and dropping down in the center in that little range of movement where it hurts so good. So, one on each leg. All right, let's go and get started. Three, two, one. Down into your lunge. Let's try to keep relatively low at the bottom of that lunge. Make sure you have your weight evenly dispersed between your front and your rear leg. Torso nice and straight and tall, keeping those lungs open. Whew. That's halfway. Go to your happy place, don't think about the burn. <laughs> you can always stand up and shake out your legs if you need to. That's not going to take oh. away any of the <laughs> effect. <laughs> Three, two, one, and here you go. Wow. All right, switch legs, shake them out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> can you do that one more time? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Again, weight evenly dispersed between those feet. Back nice and straight up and down, lungs open. Just don't hold your breath. Oh, that second leg is oh, man. so much harder. It's halfway. Ouch. 15 seconds. Oh, man. Keep going. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seconds <laughs> without me. <laughs> Just keep Five, pushing through it. Four, three, two, one. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Whew. Oh, man. Our next exercise is going to be down on the floor. So go ahead and grab a mat. If you don't have one handy, you can use just either a blanket or if you're on the carpet, it should be just fine. We're going to be doing a Russian twist next. So you want to keep that back perfectly flat, just rotating left to right. Just using a little bit of weight to help, uh, make those abs have to work just a little bit harder. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab that weight. Lean back to as close to 45 as you can and rotate left to right. You just need to kick those legs out as far as you need to to help 
with counterbalance. You can also lift them off the ground completely if you want to make this harder. Just keep those core muscles nice and tight. Whatever you do, don't let that lower back round. You want that back perfectly flat. Just rotating left right as much as you can. Keep that weight right in front of your chest, right in front of that sternum. Just rotating those shoulders as much as possible. Three, two, one, and relax. Let those abs release as best you can. You want to try to give them at least a little bit of a break before you go back to them. All right, grab that weight again. Two, one. And start it up. Remember, lean back as far as you can to really engage those abs and those obliques. But make sure you keep that lower back nice and tight to keep that chest straight. You don't want to let that lower back round. Keep it going. Keep those lungs open as best you can. Anytime you're engaging those core muscles, you're gonna have a tendency to wanna to hold your breath. So make sure you keep those lungs open, breathing normal. Oh. Almost done. Three, two, one, and let it relax. Oh. Whew. For these next two intervals, we're going to be doing deadlift pulses. So it's, again, really important that you're using a smooth, controlled motion here, no jerking movements. But you're just going to stay down there at the bottom of that range of motion and slowly move about four to five inches at the bottom of that range of motion. Squeeze your glutes the entire time to really make this burn and to get the most out of it. Ready? All right, you ready? And begin. I'm having a feeling that this is going to be a lot like those lunge pulses and the squat pulses. So make sure you keep that back nice and flat. You can have a little bit of a bend in that knee. The straighter it goes, the more you're going to get that stretch out of that hamstring, the more those glutes are going to have to work. Remember, just a nice, slow, controlled motion. Keep those lungs open, flat back. 10 seconds left. And let it relax. All right, that's one round down. Let those glutes stretch for just a second, let it relax. Three, two, one, start it up. Remember, stay nice and low. Just a few inches at the very bottom of that range of motion. No bouncing, just a very slow pulse. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, ouch. All right, the second round's burning a lot more than the <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Sore Almost done. Just 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Yeah, I'm definitely sore too. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Oh. All right. For this exercise, we're going to be doing a curl and a press combination together. So, standing nice and straight and tall, no bounce whatsoever. It's just going to be curling it up, and then a nice solid press straight above that shoulder. Remember, again, no bounce. You don't want to have any extra help with this. You want to just do that bicep and that shoulder that, uh, deltoid for this motion. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready. Grab that weight. And yeah. start up. Curl and press and back down. Remember, keep a nice straight back. Nice, slow, fluid motion. No hop with those legs whatsoever. This isn't a clean and press. This motion is all done with that arm, nothing through those legs. Just keep it going under control with those lungs open. A 
working that bicep with that curl, and that tricep, and that shoulder with that press. A few seconds left. And let it relax. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna keep those feet moving. Try to keep that heart rate up. Four, three, two, one. Start it up. Curl and press. Again, nice straight back. Core muscles engaged, keeping everything nice and solid. Slow controlled motion with that curl, slow press. Remember, don't use any hop motion whatsoever. That's halfway. Keep those lungs open. Just keep that pace nice and even. Just under 10 seconds left to go. Three, two, one, and. Get one last repetition in there. <laughs> Go ahead and drop down to the floor for our next exercise. We're going to be doing a toe touch crunch with a weight. So, if you uh, need to, you can do this with just your body weight, but we're going to do it with weight just to make it a little bit harder. Feel free to do it whichever way you want to. This is just a nice crunch up towards those toes, keep those legs nice and straight. So, go ahead and drop down to the floor, and we will get started. Grab that weight. And start up. Make sure you keep those lungs open. Nice slow contraction, getting up as high as you can. And exhale on each up movement reminds me to breathe. It's a nice pattern that keeps you from holding your breath. Also concentrate on keeping those legs nice and straight. Contract that quadricep, the top of that thigh, the front of that thigh. And let it relax. Alright, one more round of these. How are you doing over there? Good, how are you? <laughs> Alright, get those legs up. And start again. Again, keep those lungs open. Like Kelly said, if you want to, exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down, just to remind yourself to keep those lungs open. Keep those legs contracted. Try to keep those legs straight as you can. Nice tight crunch to the top every single time. Just keep it going. Nice even pace. Almost done. Whew, and let it relax. Alright, next we've got a bent over row. So you can either stand with your feet shoulder width apart and bend forward like this, or if your back gets tired, you can space your feet apart like this, but you're gonna keep your back flat and pull your elbow back as high as you can, keeping your arm in close to your sides. Go ahead and start the timer. All right. We're doing this on just one side of the body, and then again, we'll switch in that second interval. And begin. The key is to try to keep that back as flat as you possibly can. Feel like you're actually trying to tilt your chest up towards the wall in front of you. Slight bend in that knee, trying to get your chest as parallel to the ground as, as you can, and also... It doesn't hurt to squeeze your glutes while you're doing this either. Make it work more than one muscle group at a time. Remember, if that back starts giving out on you, you can always kick one foot back, brace yourself with that other hand. But if you can, stay in this uh, both feet front position because it'll make those glutes have to work a lot harder, make that back have to work a lot harder. And go and relax. All right, keep moving. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, go and grab that weight. Two, one. Keep that elbow tucked in nice and close, lungs open, back flat. 
Parallel to the ground. Knees slightly bent. And make sure that when you're doing this row motion, you don't rotate your shoulders. You want to keep your shoulders parallel to the, parallel to the ground also. So this is a nice slow squeeze, trying to keep that shoulder, those shoulders parallel to the ground. Just keep it going, you got under 10 seconds left. Two, one, and let it relax. Whew, nicely done, we have one more exercise to go. For our last exercise, we're going to be doing push-ups. So you can do these from your hands and your toes, or you can drop down to your hands and your knees if you get tired. So go ahead and start that timer up. All right. And let's start let's it up. Do this. Get in your position. One, two, one. So make sure you watch that form. Again, those core muscles are going to have to work really hard for this, so you're going to want to try to hold your breath. Make sure you keep those lungs open, breathing as normally as you possibly can. Nice straight line from your shoulder to your ankle, or shoulder to knee, whichever version you're doing. Got under 10 seconds left. Keep those lungs open. Nice full range of motion. And let it relax. Whew. See if I can get to a second round. <laughs> yeah. the full push -up. It's definitely my weakness. Yeah. I'm getting stronger. All right, back up. Two, one, here we go. Too bad when at the beginning of the interval your arms are like, no, 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 <laughs> no more. Now keep in mind, push-ups are a very difficult exercise. They use the entire body to do this motion. So don't feel bad if you have to drop down to that half push-up or you have to take breaks. This is a very, very difficult motion. Almost done. Keep those lungs open. Five. Oh. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. That is the end of this routine. This workout is complete.